There are people with incredible talent and no motivation. And then there are other people that are willing to work their ass off. It's above winning a contest. It's about like that one time, just like, yeah, I did that. This is what I love doing more than anything. And I would do it for free. I've been grinding so long, feel like Tony Hawk. Let's go, feel like Miles Shaw. Tick tock, hey, gotta go viral. Spit fire, feel like Spyro. Grinding so long, feel like Tony Hawk. Let's go, feel like Miles Shaw. Tick tock, yeah, gotta go viral. Spit fire, feel like Spyro. Going fast like Sony. Mix a gin with the Tony. Hey, watch I do shit. New name, Mr. Tulip. TNT, I'm living dynamite. Hold up, it's the white dolomite. Riding round in the caddy. Either that or it's the G Waggy. Making moves to live better. Make moves to get moved on bitter. Little rhymes, your bars rubbish. Wax shit shouldn't even get published. Dub list, I'm steady getting you. So long, feel like Tony Hawk, mask on, feel like Bioshock, tick tock, yeah, about to go viral, spit fire, feel like Spyro. And I, you know, when I would request these guys to go on tour, all I ask of them is that they skate for exhibitions and whatnot. Matt wouldn't skate half the time. We'd, I, I flew him to Europe. I didn't have any money then, you know, in our company, but I was flying these guys to Europe for competitions. He would go to the contest and not feel like skating. And I was like, how can you do that? You know, I was just thinking, not just to me, but to yourself. Like, you have this incredible talent and you just don't care. And then I saw Andrew Reynolds, who was the scrappy little guy, taking, not very clean, but in, in terms of his style, but trying some of the hardest stuff, taking the heaviest hits, but always skating his ass off and always trying. And he has become probably the most well-respected street skater today. Andrew Reynolds, I mean, he formed Baker Brand, Death Wish Skateboards. Every, the the community of the the most hardcore skaters these days call him the boss because he developed his style because he worked his ass off and he's the shining example of of hard work. Tony Hawk is the number one recognizable sports figure over Shaq, over Iverson, over MJ. I just focus on something and I have to do it. I'll either get hurt, taken to the hospital, trying it, or I'm gonna make it. And that was the same for doing 900 with the X game. It was my time to finally do it or to be carted off and try it another day. Last try right here, Tony Hawk 900. At some point, you just tune everything out and you say, this is it, you gotta do it.